Hello you guys, welcome to this week's peaceful vlog. I'm your host Leandra. If you're new, make sure that you like and subscribe because there's going to be a lot of things happening on this channel over the next couple of months. We've got law school, we're moving to downtown LA, just a lot of things happening. So make sure that you subscribe. I am currently in Palm Springs. I know I'm never really home but I'm currently in Palm Springs. My boyfriend and I came two days ago because it was his stepdad's birthday and we actually took a day trip out to Julian, California. It's this really small town that's kind of stuck in the past. It was really nice to kind of go up there and wander around. They just had like really old like vintagey stores and really old like candy shops and they're very much known for their pies. So it was really interesting to just kind of walk through the town and just explore, see what was there. It was beautiful. Like the drive up was gorgeous. Even the drive down was absolutely just mind blowing. I did start vlogging, but because it was literally just like one block of things to do, there just really wasn't a lot to vlog and it was hot as fuck so like i just didn't want to talk as much and we just ended up just being in the moment and just having a good time with you know george and his family now we're just kind of here i don't know when we're gonna leave we never know when we're gonna leave we're just kind of playing it by ear i am currently uploading a bunch of videos to my google drive so i can send it to my editor so she can edit it and it's the last maybe apartment hunt video so i'm currently doing that and in like 10-ish minutes, I want to go to a crystal shop. There are quite a few crystal shops here. I recently, I think two, three weeks ago when we were on our way to Vegas, we stopped by this crystal shop in Yucca Valley. And it's my favorite thus far just because I walked in there and I felt something. Like I, I don't know how to explain it. It was very heavy and also calming and light at the same time and i ended up actually buying my first crystals and i have them sitting by the windowsill like over there right now with also my lighter and my palo santo because it was the full moon so i had them like you know bathing in the full moon i've just been really getting into spirituality and that type of spirituality i don't know what has precisely like guided my path towards that but I don't know I've just been it feels like divine timing it really does and I'm just trying to get as much knowledge as I can it's fun it's interesting and I love you know having my crystals it's been really helping me with my meditation too because I know you guys who have been here for a while you know that I have been trying to meditate more or just kind of like meditating it's been really helpful yesterday's meditation was out of this world I literally went out of my body so it was amazing so today I want to go to a crystal shop. Um, I definitely want to buy sage. Sage is on my list and then whatever else I gravitate to, I'll buy it. I also maybe want to buy a book because I finished reading The Power of Now when we were driving to Julian, California yesterday and I love The Power of Now. Um, I realized that it's really difficult to live in the now. Like even before I started filming this video, I was thinking about why I was going to film this video while I was doing other things instead of just being present. So that's definitely something I want to work at and it's, it's a really good book and I would 100% recommend it right now i have it's called the mind illuminated and i actually got this for george a while ago when he started getting into um meditation and i think he kind of read it and now i want to read it just to get some more meditation um like techniques and stuff so i'm gonna read that maybe get some crystals i don't know but yeah today at the store i was at the crystal fantasy in palm springs and it's like 
downtown Palm Springs, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I'm really excited about everything I got. I'm excited to be on this journey. I feel like it's the right path for me. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys everything I got. So I did get a couple books, which made my checkout price uh, kind of high. But of course, I wanted to get books. This one right here is called Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza. And I saw this on the recommended of... I'm gonna butcher her name, but the thing is called her name is Hitomi Hitami on here on YouTube and I watched her I watched her like now and then and I saw her like spirituality video her and also like Bihati Live who I watch all the time every day and also Earth Mama Medicine they're like the three main people I watch but she had this on her list I was hoping they had it and they did so it's just like a nice book about just realizing I guess realizing your inner power and kind of like the power of now but i'm just really interested to see what this book has to say and what it has to offer for me i also got two other books i got um you are psychic by sherry dillard and it looks like that it's about developing your natural intuition through your psychic types and then i picked up astrology for beginners now i again like i said i have like i watch bihati life i love like the things that she does with the oils and everything like that also earth mama medicine and all of them kind of talk about astrology and i've been trying to watch videos on understanding my birth chart and, and everything like that especially when it came to like the full moon and um trying to understand how that was going to like affect me and everything like that there's a lot of videos about it and understanding like your birth chart and i just don't get it like i'm like watching the video and i'm looking at my birth chart and i'm just kind of like uh like it just it's hard to click so i saw this book i gravitated towards this book by joanne hamper i really like it because there's like little like actual like illustrations to help you understand what the heck is a goddamn bird chart because it's really hard to get so i also got gravitated towards a rose quartz crystal today um none of them called me except for the rose quartz crystal so i got the raw uncut um gem instead of like the polished one because this is just the one that i felt like was for me today i also got a couple of candles for like reiki uh infused candles so i have a wrapped in bubble wrap like every single one it might be a little wasteful but that's okay they don't want me to break it but i got the abundance candle i got a protection candle because we need some protection from negative energies i got a spirit candle and i also got a cleansing candle just for i, I love doing like cleansing rituals and stuff and i guess cool he threw in some crystals some free crystals for me that's nice of them i also got a um incense holder because i have incense uh but i just don't have a holder for it and also several mini sage bundles and they're in these little things i have palo santo which i use um for cleansing but i also wanted to get sage for just overall cleansing because palo santo cleanses like negative energies and from what my understanding negative energies and then these is an overall just cleanse today's lunch is a ginger tofu sauce from this place called tale and i added some avocados and right here i have some coconut water i'm gonna add some more pepper in it because honestly if my food doesn't make me cry i don't want it you gotta be snotting it has to be snot coming out as they like to say in my village does not adds the flavor just woke up from a nap feeling good feeling fresh it is about 108 110 degrees right now in palm springs so i think i'm gonna grab one of my new books the becoming supernatural by dr joe dispensa and go sit outside near the pool and just read drink some more coconut water and just kind of like relax Good morning. So yesterday I fell asleep really early, like at 10, 
30 p.m. right after my meditation and I had such a good night's sleep. I feel so rested, so ready for the day, whatever the day brings. And um, while I was meditating yesterday, I actually realized that my biggest issue when it comes to like my meditation practice is um, not being a control freak because I'm like a really big control freak. I like controlling myself and what I do, my actions, the way that I think. So the best or at least like I think the most required thing when it comes to meditation um at least in regards to the books that i'm reading trying to get into a deep meditative state and where you can get insight and meet like you know like your angel guides and everything like that you need to really surrender and let go and i tried to do it yesterday and i got scared because there's kind of like three states that i go into when i meditate this is the first state and it's kind of just like nothing uh is happening i'm just there i'm med trying to meditate and i am like um just focusing on my breathing calming down things like that and then there's the second state which is where it's like blank and i'm just kind of floating and um just like my mind is actually empty and I'm just floating and then the third state which is what scared me yesterday when I like dropped into it where I was actually kind of like seeing things and like seeing like faces and stuff like that that kind of scared me and I like like hopped myself out of it which is like not what I want to do I want to stay in it and be able to see what's going on so I'm gonna keep working at it but I had a really good peaceful peaceful sleep last night today is another day george discovered how to make soap so we're gonna go make soap soon and i'm about to go and have some breakfast have my little black strap molasses um concoction and i didn't explain what that was at the beginning of this video but um i got the idea from earth mama medicine she um has this entire video about having peaceful periods peaceful menstruations i think she mentioned something about just having a lot of iron and potassium and that one of the best ways to get all of those is blackstrap molasses and they have blackstrap molasses here and i figured you know i researched it and a lot of people were actually like oh yeah this works so i figured it wouldn't really hurt me to try because i do not have peaceful periods at all i have actually i have pretty violent periods um, because of my iud i used to be on birth control and i decided to get off birth control because it was just messing with my emotions way too much and it was making me depressed suicidal all these other things that just was not worth um what it was doing to me and then I got a copper IUD, which is not hormonal at all, which is good and bad. Good because it's not messing with my emotions and my hormones. Bad because it's not messing with my hormones. So my periods are, aren't are light anymore. They aren't as painless anymore. Literally, they are painful. So painful sometimes that I have to kind of like freeze in place when a cramp hits because it's that painful. So... Um, what she said in the video what a lot of people were saying online when i did my research that you're just supposed to take it a couple days before your period and maybe during your period too and it's supposed to help with the cramping and help with everything like that so i figured why not try it um hopefully it works because i really do be wanting to yeet myself out of existence when i get my period big tip if you're going to make the blackstrap molasses drink is to use milk um any type of milk you want i guess but almond milk works it's really good if you use water i used water two days ago and it just was not good at all it tasted like crap the molds. these are the molds <laughs> all prepared for the soap making oh yeah soap making mixture here this one is with lard this is georgia soap his mom made a soap with olive oil instead and it went by faster but the lard is taking forever to do what it's supposed to do so we're just kind of sitting here and waiting for it to i guess i think track is what he said it's supposed to track and it's not doing it yet so i've just been sitting on the couch over here on this corner just reading a book <laughs> and watching like my little shows on youtube so I'm reading my Becoming Supernatural book and going between this and also watching YouTube. We're gonna go watch. 
watch the doggy or one of the doggies because he's a good dog. He's a good boy. He deserves it. So I've never given a dog a bath before. So my bikini. I'm expecting to get wet, clearly. And there's an outdoor shower right here, right there. And we're just gonna we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna go. The doggies do not want to come. They know what's about to happen. Clearly, I have a graham cracker, and it's not getting them to come. Come on, check. Let's go, Graham Cracker. Oh my God. <laughs> Einstein said he wants this Graham Cracker. And Come I'm on, gonna, Einstein. And I'm gonna give it to him. Let's go. <laughs> they, look at them, look at them, look at them. They don't wanna come. It's like, hey, let's do that, you know? Yeah, it's not, so good. <laughs> good, good. good. <laughs> That one clean dog, your next shack. He's being so good. He's being like a good dog. All right, so the doggies are washed, and now after such hard work, we're going to lay at the pool. I'm gra grabbing one of the floaties because I can't swim, and I just want to relax in the pool and not do anything. Mm. Also, the water is really warm and really nice right now, so we're just gonna relax. Maybe I'll read a book or something. I don't know. Today's a good day, though. going to leave the desert in literally like the next 30 minutes or so but we just finished cutting up the soap from yesterday they still need a little bit more time to fully like dry and fully set but it's ready it's done and it smells so good so this is george's soap he made like a type of orange um lard soap so this is made with lard and he put actual like orange peel shavings in there i won't be using it because it has lard but it actually smells really good and then his mom made like the same type of soap i think this one is mint and orange and she did not use lard she used olive oil for it so i will be using these two this one is for my mom this one is also for my mom as a gift because she likes the soap that george makes and then this one is for me you guys can also see my spirit candle that i bought literally a couple of days ago is already halfway done i've been burning it quite often for the last couple days and i think it's really helped me with my meditation and with dealing with just the world today i actually got news that my school from my law school will be fully online which um is not very surprising i should have been totally prepared for it but they were kind of talking about doing a type of hybrid courses where they have us on campus for like three or four months out of the semester and then after thanksgiving they have us go home and just not come back so they sent us an email because everything's kind of 
topsy-turvy again here in Los Angeles in California everything is just back to being really bad because people are for some reason not wearing you know their mask or just acting like people are really taking their rights away by asking them to wear masks it's really silly it's really stupid but it's caused everything to go back to being absolutely crazy and I'm pretty sure this is like the second wave that's hitting and everyone's kind of getting it everyone's getting tested and I definitely should have been expecting it so I was a little bit sad I did shed a couple tears but um, with the whole meditation and just how much meditation I've been doing how many like the books and the information I've been taking in I was able to really like hop out of it and like hop into the now and kind of focus on what was happening in my present and currently presently I have no problems I really have no problem and just thinking about that specific thing it's not really an issue because just yesterday I was thinking about the fact that I would love to be somewhere in nature for a while like I really would like to go out and just ground myself somewhere where there's a lot of nature like trees and um, like water maybe something like that and just stay there for a little bit like put my phone away completely grow into my authentic self because I think I have issues with that and just issues with being authentic in general and feeling like I'm being my authentic self and I really just want to go and be alone and then that was really like I had this feeling so strongly yesterday and that was such a contrast to where I was moving to which is just kind of like urban jungle basically but you know we'll definitely still be moving it just won't be the next month like i planned it to which is also really kind of crazy because this morning i had um this f urge to go outside in nature and like meditate and just be still and i went and i was still and the loudest thing that was really in my head coming from like my inner self was don't rush like i wrote it in my journal i wrote a bunch of it in my journal it's just like don't rush don't rush don't rush don't rush and um then all this happened and i think it's kind of like put a pause on everything and it's definitely getting me to work on what i was talking about earlier on the vlog which was the problem that i have with being a control freak like i just love controlling things and when things don't go my way or my timelines get screwed up usually i just do not respond well at all but this time i was able to kind of take it on the chin i don't necessarily know what we're gonna do um we're gonna try and do whatever we want to do basically since we don't have to i don't have to be anywhere really um i think we want to go wherever the wind takes us and then and then go and settle until the ur urban jungle i think i may need to experience some things first before i go there and i settle down and i don't want to block my heart and myself from experiencing this um part of my journey by being stubborn or by being upset because not everything is going according to plan so that is the update this video is probably long enough as it is so i will see you guys in the next vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed the apartment hunt videos there will be moving videos happening just not when we thought so hope you guys liked it i love you guys and i'll see you in the next vlog